What is up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we're in the brand new 2023 Nissan Frontier SV, courtesy of Younger Nissan in Frederick, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So today we are in this one because it was recently redesigned last year for the 2022 model year. It's gonna be competing with the Toyota Tacoma, Honda Ridgeline, Ford Ranger, just to name a few. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so since we are in the SV trim level today, there are a few different configurations for our particular trim level. You got the King Cab 4x2 starting at $31,890, Crew Cab 4x2 starting at $33,290, and lastly the Crew Cab Long Bed 4x4 starting at $39,120. And by the way, those first two configurations, the 4x2s, you can get that with four-wheel drive, of course, just simply add approximately $3,000 to either of those prices but regardless of the configuration that you go with the power plant on the frontier sv is going to be the same powering the beast is a 3.8 liter direct injected v6 putting out 310 horsepower at 6400 rpm 281 pound feet of torque coming in at 4400 rpm power sent to the rear wheels or all wheels through a nine speed automatic zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 7.5 seconds which actually is not too bad for a truck i will say that but mpg numbers then coming in at 18 in the city 20 24 on the highway for the rear wheel drive, 17 city 22 then on the highway for the four wheel drive taking regular unleaded fuel. And so now having got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find it straight away. Let's put the Frontier here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2023 Frontier SV here up to speed. All right, looks like we got her straight away here. Let's hit it. Huh. There's nothing wrong with that. That was plenty of an acceleration for merging onto the highway. Like I said, zero to 60 in 7.5 seconds. It's pretty darn good for a truck. And you can feel that. There is definitely plenty of pickup, no slipping whatsoever, even with all that power being sent to the rear wheels right now. So excellent acceleration for the Frontier without a doubt. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So as expected, you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes coming standard. And actually, when it comes to the 60 to zero stopping distance on the Frontier, get ready you guys, 115 feet. So since there's no one behind us, I love it. Love the braking feel on the Frontier. So definitely not a soft braking feel. And surprisingly, as heavy as trucks in general are, instantly brings you to a stop in the Frontier. So 100% great braking feel here in the Frontier without a doubt. Then touching on suspension and handling. Up front, you're gonna get an independent double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, overslung multi-leaf rear suspension, front stabilizer bar comes standard, but if you were to go with the crew cab configurations, you will also get a rear stabilizer bar to go along with that. So overall, as far as ride quality goes, it's been perfectly fine actually in my short test drive here today. And honestly, Frederick doesn't have the best roads either. Either. So, yeah, ride quality has been perfectly fine. As far as steering feel goes, that's probably my favorite part of the Frontier. Such a heavy steering feel on this thing. I absolutely love it, especially at low speeds. It's a very heavy steering feel, but even at higher speeds, it just feels right for a truck. I'll just put it that way. I love the steering feel on this thing because a lot of times, usually in SUVs, but sometimes in trucks, you will get kind of a loosey-goosey steering feel. So I don't know. I just love the steering feel of this thing. It instantly points you in, in the direction that you want to go, and I can't talk today. So anyways, as far as cabin noise goes, we're going 35 miles per hour right now. Not a whole lot of exterior wind noise or even road noise coming into the cabin, so that's perfectly fine as well. And touching on visibility, let me adjust my mirror. It looks like every other truck in the world you can see perfectly fine out that rear view mirror, so definitely a big fan of that. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 nissan frontier sv all right so here she is you guys the new 2023 nissan frontier finished in tactical green in case you were curious of our exterior color name that we have on this one here today so let's go ahead and get started with where this one is made so taking a look at the vin the first character is the number one indicating that the frontier is built and assembled in the u.s so 
that is where this one is made so that's pretty cool but anyways let's go ahead and start up front body colored front grill with the gloss metallic intersection that's of course what you guys are looking at and that's what comes standard on the frontier sv you do actually have some steel front skid plates down below and that's going to come standard as well front tow hooks can be had with the crew cab long bed configuration and they are available otherwise as well they're still wrapped in plastic this thing is so new right now <laughs> anyways to the sides halogen headlights do come standard of course the automatic feature as well meaning when it starts to get dark in at night those headlights will turn on automatically for you there automatic high beams are going to be optional so essentially what that is is if you have your high beams on at night and the sense of the vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams and when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically then bounce it back up to high beams so pretty cool feature there and then led daytime running lights are going to be optional on the frontier sv then but taking a look down below those headlights you guys are going to see we actually do have fog lights as well so again coming with the crew cab you're going to find some fog lights down there and then led fog lights are going to be optional we got the halogens of course so we do not have that option but didn't want to point that out and then one of my favorite parts about the front end of this one you actually have frontier lettering kind of the front portion of that hood there so i definitely like the look of that as well but anyways that pretty much rounds out the front end of the frontier here let's now go ahead and make our way to the side all right so now since we are around to the side of the frontier black window surrounds do come standard rear privacy glass to go along with that of course take a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors you can get heated side mirrors they are an option though for the frontier sv of course you can get the king cab or the crew cab configuration in case you didn't notice already we do have the crew cab setup so we'll be testing out that rear leg room a little bit later in the video here but then take a look down at the wheel setup 17 inch six spoke aluminum alloys do come standard and then running boards are going to be optional for the crew cab we don't have them and quite honestly with the ride height of the frontier i didn't personally have any issues getting in and out of this one so you really don't need them but anyways still want to mention it but anyways that pretty much rounds out the side profile here let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so now since we are around to the back of this one first thing i kind of want to mention is there's kind of an integrated tailgate spoiler you guys can kind of see there's a little lip there so thought that looked pretty cool wanted to mention that of course frontier lettering spelled out horizontally etched into the tailgate itself yet again just like the hood so it's pretty cool led taillights actually do come standard across the board so a little added illumination at night there I like that as well then take a look at the tow hitch down here of course that's available and when it comes to the towing capacity the max towing capacity for the frontier sv is going to come in at 6270 pounds in case you were curious but then of course tucked away down below underneath the passenger side there you will find a single exhaust outlet so Having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next is always here is that exhaust clip. Right, so but now since we are around to the back of the front here when it comes to opening that rear tailgate it actually is a dampened tailgate so it's not going to come flying down all in one second on you it is going to lower slowly so i was a big fan of that but once that tailgate is down the overall bed length is going to come in at 73.3 inches the bed width 61.4 inches and then between the wheel wells that's going to come in at 44.5 inches if you wanted the specs as far as payload capacity goes that's going to come in at 1600 pounds then but factory spray on bed liner is going to be optional we do have that and I love that it's back there 120 volt power outlet again going to be optional we have that as well so always like that so you could charge up a circular saw or really anything back there so that's pretty cool overhead cargo bed lighting is actually going to come standard and then there is some LED bed lighting that is going to be optional if you wanted that we also have that as well so that is pretty darn cool so then making our way up to the rear legroom of course it's going to differ between the king cab and the crew cab king cab comes in at 26.2 inches so almost unusable you might be able to put some small children back there but that's actually less than my old ford mustang gt crew cab is going to come in then at 33.2 inches which isn't horrible so for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had in our crew cab that we have today and of course when it comes to those rear seats they are 60 40 split flip up bench seating so they actually do fold up if you wanted to put your massive back there or whatever else it really doesn't matter rear center armrest with cup holders coming with the crew cab so i can show that to you guys and then there's also going to be a usb a and usb c charging port and actually a 120 volt power outlet back there yet again so that's pretty darn cool and of course 
If you go with the crew cab, not the king, but the crew cab, you will get a sliding rear window back there as well. But now, let's go ahead and make our way up to the front seats. Manually adjustable seating coming with the king cab. Six-way power driver seat with two-way power lumbar coming standard with the crew cab. Cloth seating is going to come standard. Leather seating is going to be optional for the crew cab. We don't have that with us today. But heated seats then are also going to be optional for the crew cab. But we do have that option. So that's pretty cool bet. Actually, overall, seat comfort hasn't been that bad. So I will say that. And perhaps Perhaps that's because they are power adjustable maybe so I don't know I just haven't had any issues with seat comfort so far but now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel it is not telescoping it is tilt so we did want to emphasize that but I will say for my six foot self I was still able to find my perfect driving position probably because of the power adjustable seats but still Nissan if you're watching this I would definitely recommend making this a telescoping steering wheel because at some point, some six foot four or six foot seven adult is going to hop in this thing. They're gonna have longer legs. They're gonna have to put their seat back more and they're probably gonna want that steering wheel to telescope out a little bit further. I'm just saying, but anyways, leather wrapped for the crew cab, heated is gonna be optional for the crew cab. We do have that option, but then make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. All of your buttons are located on one side of the key. Got your Nissan logo at the top. The remote start, by the way, goes for $375. Then you got lock and unlock but it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that black engine start button located just by the driver's right knee and so once started up tachometer is all the way to your left speedometer is on your right there is a relatively large digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display there are steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel giving you things like a digital speedometer how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's your outside temperature of course there's actually some off-road statistics which i thought was pretty cool so tells you what kind of elevation you're at and what kind of angle the front tires are turned at and stuff like that so that's pretty cool when you need your next oil change trip a trip b average mpgs the list goes on so pretty much everything you could possibly want of the digital portion of the gauges there but then let's go ahead and make our way now to overall interior quality there is a power moonroof available it's going to be optional for the crew cab only home light controls are available for 110 dollars if you wanted those dual zone climate control is going to come standard on the crew cab only so both driver and passenger can set their own temperatures there wireless phone charger is going to be optional on the crew cab and that more than likely is going to be located in front of the shifter although in our case we just have some rubberized storage probably to put yourself in there still nonetheless so that's pretty cool but anyways to the right of the shifter you got a couple cup holders more rubberized storage behind that within the center armrest you actually have some little cutouts for pens and stuff and actually a decent amount of storage in there so didn't mind that but overall everything is finished pretty much on the basic side of things it's to be expected i do like this kind of rubberized storage though just above the infotainment screen up top here that's pretty cool i didn't expect to see that there actually is an overhead sunglass holder up there as well so it's very functional i'll put it that way but now let's go ahead and make our way to that infotainment screen i just mentioned Eight inch color touchscreen display does come standard bluetooth and audio streaming as well android auto apple carplay factory navigation system is going to be optional and of course you can check out your radio information up there as well and so when it comes to the sound system six speakers is going to come standard but there is a premium package that will give you a 10 speaker fender sound system that we do not have with us here today so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out our six speaker sound system that we have with us here today all right so a little bit more bass than i expected clarity it sounded like a six speaker sound system i'll just put it that way not the best when it comes to clarity but more bass than I expected. I'll put it that way. It's six speakers. If you wanted a better sound system, I like that Nissan allows that to be available with the Fender sound system. But anyways, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Frontier in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side side curtain airbags do come standard. Driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors to tethers to children for the rear car seats. For your child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system but then i did want to mention a package option called the technology package it is for 990 dollars that is an option that gives you all the advanced safety essentially including lane departure warning blind spot warning rear cross traffic alert a rear sonar system rear automatic braking high beam assist and adaptive cruise control then as well and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts on the frontier here nice design like i said last year i do like the redesign it was well overdue for a redesign it looks a heck of a lot better now love the steering field it's probably 
probably my favorite part, my most memorable part of the Frontier. It's such a heavy steering feel, which I personally prefer. So also brilliant braking for a truck. I'm just gonna say that usually when I ramble off the 60 zero numbers, if I say 115 feet, I'm usually driving a sports sedan or something like that. So to find that on a truck is pretty ridiculous. So big fan of the very firm braking feel that instantly brings you to a stop here. As far as constructive criticism goes, I'll give it two things. So telescoping steering wheel is definitely a necessity in my personal opinion. I think just most vehicles out there, if 99% of them have a telescoping steering wheel, unless it's like, I don't know, a budget car or something like that. So I definitely recommend that, especially with trucks, because a lot of times you're gonna have taller individuals that are gonna need that telescoping steering wheel. But also interior quality is definitely on the basic side of things. Wouldn't have minded if they made it, I don't know, just a little bit more special. So just around the shifter and the cup holders, for example, it's just kind of this matte black plastic. Even if they put a design to that and still kept it plastic, but just put a design, I think that would make so much of a difference in my personal opinion. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the fronts here in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.